What's up guys and gals, your host for the most, Griever as always, bringing you guys a very quick and short review of Ayakashi Triangle Chapter 77 entitled The Girl and the Bean. Now, I got so many memes, I got so many jokes I can make about that, but now, see, this is why I cut this video down. I cut this video down because that title alone, The Girl and Her Bean, I mean, The Girl and the, I mean, The Girl and... Never mind. Point of the matter is, is that I had a lot of choices to make here. I had so many choices. Could I get myself copyright stricken and banned off of YouTube for this video? Uh, yeah, it would have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So either way, either way, uh, let's just move on to the chapter. Let's move on to the chapter. And the reason this review will honestly be really short is because it's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the plot line as we know it. You know, like, like honestly, it, it was it was a chapter. Nothing, nothing exciting happened. It was fluff. You know, Matsuri thought she was a girl, right? So they thought that Ryu, where where this is a very simple uh, teapot kettle uh, uh, jutsu or whatever. Now I find it hilarious. Like, once again, like this could have been easily solved probably by uh, Matsuri's maybe I don't know mother, super powered, sexy ninja milf, or maybe the grandfather, strong as an ox and more powerful than everybody else in the series from what we understand. Maybe Soga's dad. There's a multitude of strong, super strong people that could just solve this problem. And nobody thinks to do that. Let's solve it with a bunch of high schoolers and their drama, which yes, is the point of the manga, but also we were getting more serious tones and now we're into more less serious tones we're back into fluff chapters and after that whole detective lou bullshit went nowhere i just i i don't need fluff i need actual character development i need actual character plot lines that matter you know um and you could argue that this is good for soga but it doesn't do anything it goes nowhere he's just like you know what uh, like Kazumaki as a girl acting like a girl that's not Kazumaki that's not who's my best friend that's not my rival so he's not attracted or even as a female he's not attracted to this weird hair nails clothes shoes version of Kazumaki because that's not Kazumaki to him so he's totally unaffected by this he's completely unaffected and that makes total sense so it's not even character development for Soga getting better at dealing with women. What was good of Soga get, dealing with women was when they were tracking down the three divine, the three broken tombstone crazy uh, Ayakashi, right? That was character development where he's like, I am stronger than this. And he fought off the, the Shadow Mai thing after a time and he felt ashamed, but he, he was fighting it off. That was character development. This, this is just fluff and kind of annoying, honestly, because first they go to Rio. Rio can't do it because of reasons and then uh Suzu tries to do it and she can't do it because of reasons as Shirogane says shameless reasons which is probably the only good part of the chapter and then Mai thinks she's got this all figured out she thinks she got this all sorted out and then Soga and then Matsuri is all like would you please go out with me Soga because she feels safe with them of course because of the they haven't changed just like sort of clouded her memories not like fix them or anything like or, or completely uh eradicated them or anything like that they haven't changed her personality on uh, well it did it's hard to explain but you know what i mean like he, she still feels an attachment towards people she knows so soga of course is there in this calming way and then soga's just like no you know what F forget this and then the bean part of the chapter title which is completely different off track maybe i just have been on the internet too long too many years but I went on the completely wrong end of that, and apparently uh, the bean, also known as uh, mame, is a sacred food known since ancient times to have the power to exercise evil. So apparently this, uh, the bean that uh, Po, the uh, Pinosuke, the, um, the little bird Tengu thing that follows around Soga, was eating, boom, into the app of Matsuri, and uh, Soga says uh, for... Um, Matsuri to wake up and it's enough it's not enough to exercise the power but it's enough for Matsuri to have control of his own mind for a moment and then he uses inner storm jutsu and boom he's back to normal he eradicates the jutsu and stuff and um yeah so that's that's the chapter nothing really else is happening here honestly as I said it's going to be a very short review because I didn't really care for the chapter because as I said at the beginning I want plot lines I need direction i need character development now we are almost 80 chapters in 
And now for the last, you know, five, six chapters, it's been fluff. And fluff is good. Fluff is what we want. We want fluff chapters, uh, you know, 10 chapters of the Straw Hats chilling on the sunny because we had three arcs of them fighting and, and bleeding and beaten and all this stuff, right? We want to see them interact with each other in a happy-go-lucky setting for a few chapters because we don't get to see that all the time. But if we're seeing it all the time, all the time without real drama, without real stakes, without real consequences, like Ayakashi Triangle is basically trying to play both sides of the fence, trying to be shonen and trying to be shoujo. The difference is in a shoujo manga, the stakes usually are only this surface level stakes in the beginning, right? Later on, they matter. Like shit actually feels because of Usually because we want our main couple, will they, won't they? And we like putting them in situations that seemingly are like this on the surface, but where we know that this is all just smoke and mirrors, we don't know it's smoke and mirrors in a shoujo. We want the will they, won't they attitude towards this, but the will they, won't they is gone from Ayakashi Triangle, so they need to move away from these type of chapters because this is only good in the will they, won't they scenario in a shoujo. And even then, this is a little weak. So... I don't know. I still like Ayakashi Triangle. It's definitely not a great manga. It's okay. But we definitely need to go on the line that we were at the beginning of last year. We need to go on this line of really good plot in the darkness and a little bit more serious tones and the character development of Shadow Mai. That was intriguing and interesting and I think we can do a lot of solid things here. Um, so what do you guys think though? Let me know down in the comment section down below. Like, comment, and subscribe as always. And don't forget the fourth and most important thing to drink responsibly as always. And we'll see you guys back here next time for Ayakashi Triangle Chapter 78. It won't be as late as this particular review. But honestly, this chapter, there wasn't anything going on. So I didn't feel the need to rush out and get it done. I mean, if, if I'm not feeling the, the need to review it, clearly maybe the chapter wasn't so hot. Right? So, anyways... Hope you enjoyed the chapter and the review nonetheless. See you back next time. Bye-bye.